All right, so we are here at TCT Asia, and this fair is so incredible that they're manufacturing filaments in the middle of the show. And I have Ken here with me. He's one of the specialists at Friend, Friend Machinery, and we are going to talk about all the stages and about this, this machine that they're selling right here. Thank you very much, Ken. Okay, so, okay, so let's talk about the first stage. Yeah, so this is a Hooper dryer. It has a function of storage raw material, and on top of it, we have a vacuum feeder which can suck the raw material palace from the... Normally we have a bucket. Ah, it should be wow. a big one. It's just, just for the exhibition, we bring a small one, a bag. And this is PLA? Uh, yeah, this is PLA. Awesome. And it's mixing with the master batch, uh -huh. actually making the silk, silk color. Ah, so you're manufacturing silk right now? Uh, yeah, we are doing silk. And um, after this cooper, we come into the extruder. So what you have here is the pallet, the, the PLA pallet, yep. and also the, the like the, the the dark grains over there is the master batch, is yep. that it? Yep. So that's what gives the color of the filament. Yep, that's making the final effects. If it's PLA only, you only get like the white color and matte surface. Okay, so that's what gives the silk and the color. Yep, that's right, it. So after this part, what do we have? We have the main extruder here. It's actually a, a size 45, which is the diameter of the screw. Uh -huh. And this one will give you the volume like a maximum 240, but we are not taking taking up all the volume. We actually using uh, the capacity of typically around 20 to 25 kilograms per hour. 20 to 25 kilograms per hour. Yeah. And wow. uh, this is so the... That, that's extra. how many kilograms a day do you estimate a machine it's, like that? Uh, around half ton. It's like half a, a ton a day. Yeah, half, 500 kilograms. 500 kilograms, wow. And that's a uh, lot of printing. The, actually, this is the core part. Uh -huh. We have a PLC touch screen here, HMI, and we can operate uh, basically everything on this so machine. The entire machine you operate in this LCD? Yep, yep. We can operate here. And I'll switch to a English... Okay. Okay. So we can see here. All so right. this is presenting how the machine goes. This is the mechanical part. The hall of lens means the tractor runs like 100 meters per minute. Uh -huh. And the, this uh, diameter set, we set at 1.75. And this is the present diameter of the filament. And we have a error control like below 0.02. 0 0.02 millimeter. Is yeah, actually. So here we can see the temperature. It's um, it's generally the heating ring on the barrel uh -huh. of the extruder, and also the mode here. And this 170, we see 70 cent cent right is actually the water here. Uh -huh. Awesome. That comes. So the, let me let me get back here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You extrude at 220. Yep. And then in here we have a chamber of 70 degrees with the yeah, water. Yeah, yeah. So that's for a cooling that is not an intensive cooling, is that it? Yep, yep. So if, if we we don't use this uh, like 70 uh, degree, the if the temperature drop down dramatically, yeah, I can open this, but it's a bit of steam here just. The steam, yeah. Yep. <laughs> that's awesome. So this is circular water. And uh, this is steam sometimes, so we have to like fill in water like once a day. Uh huh. Yeah, like that frequency. Ah, you need to change the water. Yeah. Oh, Why? sorry. It's not like change. It's we have to fill it in because it keeps steaming. Like. Ah, so, ah, you, so yeah, you have to fill the water because yeah, yeah, the water yeah. is coming out. Yeah, like once a day. Once a day. Yeah. Wow. But for this one, this is like room temperature. Uh huh. Steer. Hot and where, here. where do you have the diameter controls? Because ah, uh, that's. At the end, At the end of we, the line. we're gonna see. Yeah. All right. Awesome. So okay. this is the uh, room temperature water. Okay. Oh, it's just be careful. We use the touching If you open that, if you open that, So this one actually have tension control. If okay. someone mi miss touch it, that will be affected so on the. Right now it's affecting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> so uh, we we were just about. Uh, at this part, this is uh, room temperature water, and this is also circular water here. Uh -huh. You don't have to change it frequently. It's like once a month. Uh -huh. and, yeah, and you can use tap water. I think it's fine. And here comes the diameter. Diameter control. Yeah, 
we call So we it? have it four sensors basically. Yeah, like one, two, three, four. Yeah, this is actually two direction. Uh huh. And uh, for the two direction, we can measure, we can see if the roundness of the filament is good. Yeah, sometimes, because yeah. It, could, it could be an oval. Oval, and it's yeah, still yeah, sometimes. Awesome. So the accuracy is actually, we can see from the presenting data, it's below 0.02. That's and it's stable. It's in stable extrusion. Here we come to the like the full part. Uh -huh. This is a tractor, or we call it whole earth machine. It's made out of two rubber roller from inside, and it's controlled by a silver motor. That's well, we can control the diameter of this filament. Uh, because how much you pull is how you control the diameter. Yeah, it's it's how fast we pull how and how fast we, you pull. Yeah. So and this one, it's actually not for some. Some people may say like. For stretching, like make it the filament more strong, but actually it's not. This is just for storage, because at the end of the production, we have the spools. When we change the spool to a new one, the filament coming out from the extruder will be stored here, uh -huh. and it gives you like two minutes to change the to spool. change the spool. Let's let's go see the change. So they're changing right now, yeah, right? Yeah, they're changing right now. Uh, this guy is not professional, like <laughs> we change the person. Oh, play. Okay, there you go. Okay, so we release the spool, putting a new one. Find the right place and all yeah, that. There and is a small that... hole on it. And we're gonna insert the filament into the small And he's hole. not a professional. Uh, he's, uh, he's a he's a professional. Stuff. Okay, yeah. there so you go. So we just press start. It, it's semi-automatic. And we are now developing a full automatic. Oh yeah. Yeah. So it's gonna change the spool automatically as well. Yeah, we're developing that. That's gonna probably go to the market next year, I guess. Next year. So and these, the, these the spooling the, is great as well. Yeah, yeah, sure. So we are what we are what your guys are manufacturing right now. It's 18 of those an hour. Um, it's la likely 18 to 20. An hour. So we are, yeah, we trying to increase the speed to give a vision of the customer how it goes and how fast it can go. So it's 101 meters, meters per, per hour. minute. Per minute. Per minute. And how many meters do we have in a spool? Uh, it's around 330. Uh -huh. uh, especially for PLA because the density of different materials is different. Will change. Yeah. yeah. So it varies a little bit. But when we're doing like different material, for example PTG, we can run it even faster for uh, likely 28 to 30 kilogram per hour. That's a typical uh, production rate from our customer. That's awesome. Yep. All right, so thank you very much for thank showing you, us the entire amazing. process. Yeah, thank uh, you. It looks incredible. Yeah. And so we're here at TCT Asia showing you a lot of good content about 3D printing. If you're interested, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video with even more yeah, cool stuff. Great, see you next time. See you.